Hi guys, so today we're working on truth tables. Um, these can be found in sort of discrete mathematics or logic type problems. Um, so we have our first example here. If P, then the negation of P and Q. So how we start our truth table is by drawing up our columns. So the first one that we've got, we've got a P and we also have a Q. Um, then we have here a P and a Q. And then we have the negation of P and Q. And then we have the whole example. And there. Okay, so how we start it off is by going into the very first column and nice and easy, you just go true, true, false, false. Head over to the next column and we go true, false, true, false. That way we've got um, every sort of possible combination. So look, true, 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 false, false, true, false, false. Then we go into P and Q. So what that is saying is they want uh, true in both the P column and the Q column. So we've got here, the P column has got a true, the Q column has got a true, therefore P and Q is true. In the P column here, we've got a true, and then we've got a false. So you don't have a true in both columns, so that is a false. Next one, we've got a false and a true. You don't have true in both columns, so that is false. You've got false and false, so you don't have a true in either of the columns, so again that is false. Now we go to the next column over, not P and Q. Anytime you have this negation symbol, it's going to be the exact opposite of what is what it's in front of, basically. So we've got the P and Q column, not P and Q is going to be the exact opposite of what is here, which is false, true, true, and true. Then we have it head over to the next column. So we've got if P, then not P and Q. So we've got two different uh, columns here. We've got the not P and Q column, which is this one, and we've got the P column, which is the first one. So we have a look. Now what you do, these two, is you have a look at what the arrow is pointing to. If that is true, then it doesn't matter what the other side says, it's always going to be true here. So we'll have a look. Uh, we've got true, true, and true. So we know automatically that those three are going to be true. Now we have a look at this one. We've got a false here and a true here. So if you have a false and then a true, this column is false. If you have a false and a false, then it's going to be true. If you have a true and a true, then it's going to be true. It takes a little bit of getting used to, but once you memorize that then you'll have no problem with it. So that is our completed truth table uh, for that example. Now we'll head on to another example. Uh, I'll just copy it down here. Oops, getting black pen. P or not Q, if and only if R. So again, we copy down uh, our columns, but this time it's a little bit different in that we've got three different letters, P, Q, and R. So what we want is a P column, a Q column, and an R column. We have a look at what other things, what other elements we have in this equation. We've got a not Q, so that's a column that we want. Okay. And we've also got a P or not Q, so that's another column. And then we've got a P or not Q if and only if R, so the entire equation. Okay, so this time, now that we've got three different letters, we want a few more trues and falses in the starting column. So we go true, 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 false, 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 and false. Have to make my columns a little bigger. There we 
There we go. Okay, and now, so we've got four and four, so now we want two and two. True, true, false, false, true, true, false, false. Now we head over to the R column. Now we're going to do, we did four and four, two and two. Now we're doing one and one. So true, false, true, false, true, false, and true, false. Okay, then we head over to the next column. We've got a not Q. We've already done the Q column. So the not Q column is going to be the exact opposite of this one. So we've got false, false, true, true, false, false, True, true. Heading over to the next column, we've got P or not Q. So if it's P or not Q, we want a true in either the P column or the not Q column. So our P column is here, our not Q column is here. We've got true, false, so that's at least one true. So we've got a true. True, false again, we've got what, at least one true, so that's a true. True, true, we've got at least one true, so true. Again, the same thing. False, false. Don't have any trues, so that is false. False, false again. So don't have any trues, so that's a false. True, false. Have at least one true, so that's a true. True, false again. We have at least one Q, um, one one true. Sorry, so that is a true. Now we go over to the last column. We've got P or not Q, if and only if R. So we've got our P and not Q column here. We've got our R column here. So if and only if. What we want from an if and only if is we just want a double true or a double false. If it's anything else, then it's going to be false. So double true, then we've got a true. True and false, that's a false. Double true, that's true. True and false, false. False and true. That is false. Double false. So we've got a double, so that's true. True and true, we've got another double, so that's true. And then true and false, so that is false. So that is the general gist of truth tables. Uh, I hope that's, this has been helpful. If it has, give us a big thumbs up. And yeah, I hope that this makes it a little bit clearer and a little bit more easier. Thanks, guys.